Bonjour et bienvenue, c'est Benny, on se retrouve pour le troisième épisode de Life is Strange Before the Storm. Donc il faut aller chercher un DVD si j'ai compris. Ouais, et elle a dit qu'elle était où Elle a dit qu'elle était quelque part. Oh, stop. Une des tables de pique-nique avec Mickey. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Euh, là-bas, non? Ouais, une table. Ouais, c'est elle, je crois. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but <laughs> Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe. You should join our game. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Un elfe barbare. <rire> Pourquoi pas? Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also. C'est vraiment très bizarre. Really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon. A once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, Foremost advisor to King Tiberius and sworn defender of Avernon. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named. Uh. Calamastia. <laughs> Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Elamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? 
We're supposed to kill the Durr dude. Elamon frowns. The Raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Yeah, I'm done here. Peace. Really? We were just getting to the good stuff. If you go now, you can't rejoin later. Sorry, I gotta go do something that's not this. Oh, all right. See ya, Chloe. Yeah, see ya. On va rester 50 ans à jouer là. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. La direction la salle de chimie. Donc on sait où elle est. Classe au premier. Plus. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! No. Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. What? Ouais, j'ai pas honte. Euh, ok. Ok. Yeah. En direction à la salle de chimie. Oh, good. You're here. Rachel, ça. Ok. Pour bon, l'instant, on sait pas trop ce qui se passe. On sait pas trop c'est quoi l'histoire. C'est juste qu'on a été à un concert, qu'on a rencontré Rachel Amber. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. 
Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no, I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Ok, bon. J'ai l'impression que Chloé est un peu sous le charme de Rachel. J'ai bien l'impression. Elle a dit récupère ma ceinture dans mon sac. Rachel looks so happy here. De fouiller. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Ok. Qu'allons lui donner? Elle est où? Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. Ok, ouais, donc euh, j'ai l'impression que Chloé euh, est sous le charme de cette de Rachel Amber. C'est assez logique en vrai. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or Nope. If we're going to go rogue, we're doing it right. Well, what the hell am I getting into here? Where 
does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Yet. Okay. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. Yeah. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ce soir. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. I is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here, so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. If you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. <laughs> okay. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. What? Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. 
If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Seriously? Hear me roar. No, the lie was New York. I've never been there. Though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I love science. Seriously. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said. Arr. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Well, sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity too, you'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. 
I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> but eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Surtout monter dans ce train parce qu'elle te plaît. Surtout ça. Se cacher. Je ne mind listening to some music. Hey, want to listen? Ouais, donc euh, en faisant le je me doutais pas qu'il y avait une, une, une liaison, euh, pas dire amoureuse, mais enfin, je sais pas, il y a un petit jeu de séduction entre les deux, donc euh, faut voir comment ça se passe par la suite, mais bon. Non, on doute pas forcément qu'il y avait cette, cette liaison là, on verra bien, on verra bien. bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Uh, je... okay. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes... I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! Thank okay. you. Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! Ok, donc il nous a dit que ce qui est important, c'est qu'un jour elle partirait sans je dire à personne, sans Krigar. Ouais. Ouais, ouais, ouais. a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? 
that you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Ok, ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va s'arrêter là pour cet épisode. Donc, on tire à la prochaine fois. Donc, en tout cas, j'espère que cela vous aura plu. On se retrouve très vite pour la suite de Life is Strange Before the Storm. Allez, peace, prenez soin de vous.